Hey guys, Joe Burley back with another video and today we're going to go over ba the basics of a barber tone and how to use it. So um, here I have my personal barber tone. This now, I'll explain a few things about barber tone. I'm going to keep this video quick uh, and to the point. But a barber's tone is just that. It's a tone that was made for barbers to maintain their straight razors for a long period of time. Now back in you know the day when barbers used to you know use real straight razors, this would be common to be in one of their pockets. They would have maybe one or two of these and they would hold on to it and this is what they would use in between shaves. Uh, probably every five to ten shaves they would do at the barber shop. And this is what maintained their, their blades. Before there were Nortons, before all that crazy stuff, you know, they would use this. And for for damaged razors they would go to the you know the more heavy intense stuff or they would sometimes just throw them away. I mean they used to be pretty cheap. But this is what they used, and this is my personal one. It's about not too big. It's a me. It's a decent size one. This one has um, one grit. Some of them will have like a coarse side, and then a smooth side. This one seems to have only one. There's no indication that there isn't, and it's very flat, hard. You don't have to really lap these. Um, I I had never lapped this one. I've had this one for about five years, maybe six years now. It's been a long time. And I use this one weekly. And the kind of method I use is basically if I'm shaving every day with the same razor, which this one was my daily driver for a very long time, I would go on, on Sundays. And basically as a Sunday ritual, I would take my, my straight razor out to get ready for the weekend. I would run it off the barber's home no matter what. Uh, sometimes I would run it you know differently uh, during the week if it was getting dull or something. But usually it was just this, this stone on a Sunday. I don't know, you guys can do it your own, any way you would like, but that's just seemed to work for me and it worked very well for a long time. I've owned this razor for at least five years and I've only probably honed it from ground up, from bevel set up, maybe twice. So, I mean, this thing maintains it a long, long time. Now remember, it's not really removing metal, it's just, um, what it's doing is it's just polishing the edge. So here's, I'm going to go over the two methods on how to do it, and I'm going to be quick, so this video stays about under five minutes, so I don't want to rush anybody, but I'd like to keep it, you know, fast. Uh, first way is you take a spray bottle, or you know, if you're by the sink, and just use plain water. Now this way works great. Um, I wouldn't, you can use them dry, but I wouldn't. And basically I'm just going to do basic X strokes, right? We've all done them. And your regular honing, and this is a great way to just maintain the blade. Now, you can do like circles like this too as well, but just make sure you're going one way like that. But All right now you're gonna see see a little bit of uh, residue coming off, and I'll show you why. There's another way on using this, and this is the way I usually do, and that is the old barber way. Use shaving lather. So you get you have my my shaving brush some soap on it. I wet it down with water and this is the messy way of doing it. And this is how the barbers used to do it. And this is the way I like to use it. Get it nice and lathery. Keep your brush close by. I have my, my brush and my soap here, right? And just use it as a lubricant. All right, just take it a little bit more. You only want to do with a, a barber stone 10 to 15 strokes. So I might do this twice, and this is a really good lather. I mean, usually I use a little bit of a soapier lather when I do this, but you know, a little water will help that. And right. and that's it. You want to do maybe you know 10 to 15 strokes, and you're good. You don't want to do much more than that. If it's not popping hairs or it's passing the HHT after that, which is the hanging hair test, if it's not sharp and shaving comfortably, well then maybe it's time to get it on a little bit more of an intense stone. Um, you can also do zocotical. You can use um, you know, your uh, synthetic water stones. I, I do have a method to where I use a stone where I actually do a, um, a one stone honing system with a cotical, which I will be doing um, on my next video. So guys, thanks for watching, and I hope um, you know if there can be any help.
please feel free to contact me at joe.whatshavingnews at gmail.com. Happy shaving.